Hello everyone, today's video is just a quick one to demonstrate the differences between the ICOM IC7300 and the ICOM IC7610. I've heard many times before many AMs saying that it was the ICOM IC7610 was only two IC7300 integrated in one box. It may seem like this, but there's a lot of difference between the two, okay? I know that the price of the IC7610 is about three times the price of the IC7300. And so buying two IC7300 will not give you an IC7610. Let me explain why. First, the receivers are different between the two, okay? You can just look at the brochure from ICOM of the IC7610 and they show you the differences between the two radio. If you buy two IC7300 and put it side by side and want to use one as a sub VFO, then adds up the complexity because when you're going to transmit with one, you don't want to blow up the other. So you will need a system to share the antenna and protect the other receiver when you transmit. Also, you will need to put the second use as a receiver into TX inhibit because you you can't transmit into the antenna system, you know, with the other by just you know touching the transmit button or something, and you can blow up the other receiver. So this adds up the complexity that you don't have to do if you buy the IC7610 because it's all integrated, everything is protected. Okay, I have that in the past with two transceivers that I use one with a sub VFO and it costs many <laughs> several hundred dollars okay to be able to do so correctly and safely so that's one thing the second thing you have a large LCD display on the ICOM 7610 so even though if you have two ICOM IC7300 which are great okay you still have a 4.3 inch screen even though you have two Okay, but you have everything integrated into the ICOM IC7610. There's also a few bells and whistles more into the 7610, and there is more buttons, so more accessible if you do the X or you want to have you know things right on end, it's easier to operate for more serious DXer. Let's put it that way. Okay. The other thing is the ICOM IC7610 has a LAN interface that allows you to do remote without adding a computer turn on in the shack because the RSBA1 server is integrated into the radio. You don't have that on the ICOM IC7300. If you want to operate remotely the 7300, then you will need a computer on with the software from ICOM to be able to connect at a distance. And there's many, many other things like antenna ports and, you know, it's all. So if you look at that, I think the IC7610 is a better deal. But if you are on a budget, buy one IC7300 and you'll be in business as well. So you can watch both of my reviews of those two radio. Uh, in the, at the end of the video, there will be a link. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe. And don't forget to click on that notification bell to be notified as soon as a new video is online. And for now, I'll say 73 and catch you some other time.